Um, so today's topic will be pretty much covering on how to kind of start trading on your own in the binary options market. Um, we've done binary options trading before. We've had a couple of sessions before where we um, talked about, you know, like a brief plan on how to kind of get good at it. But in today's session, we'll be going more in depth. Um, and my goal is to kind of give you guys a game plan. It'll be a approximately two month game plan that will take you from, you know, being a novice binary options trader to a bit more experienced and a bit more um, confident in taking your own trades. So that's my goal today. And I've created a plan for you guys that I've personally followed and has worked for me. So um, with that being said, let's get started. So the agenda today will be a five-step game plan to succeed in the binary options market. Now, the goal here is to help you guys get started trading on your own. Um, we have a great system already available for us through iGenius and GC, where we can make use of you know um, the products, the alerts, the signals that come in every single day, the sessions that happen every single day. But for a lot of people, what I've noticed is despite having all of this, um, people are still a little afraid taking their own trades. You know, I see a lot of people just plugging into these sessions, which have been doing amazing, nothing, you know, against that. But if you really want to excel on the trading side of things, you'll have to start trading on your own as well, right? So pretty much the way um, I see this working for everyone is we need to find a balance between leveraging the experts and applying what you've learned, right? Um, there's no point of me or any of the experts going live and, you know, showing you their analysis, their strategies, if you're not going to apply it. But then again, you also need to leverage the experts and see how you can use them to um, learn trading on your own, right? So we need to find the right balance. That's pretty much what I'm, what I'm getting at. Um, but the game plan that I've created for you guys, it's a five step one. So the first step that I suggest you guys to, um, follow and you have to follow every single step for this to work. If you guys skip any of this, it's, it's, um, a lower chance of you succeeding in my opinion. Um, but the first step that I suggest is we have a binary pro alpha channel, right? Um, we have a great trader, Devin, who runs that those sessions. And um, the first thing that I'd like you guys to do, and you guys can do this right now, you can go to your calendar um, and write these timings down for every single session that happens Monday to Thursday, right? Now, these are the live sessions that happen where the trader goes down into details about how he took the trades, how he's looking at the markets and um, why he's choosing to take certain trades, right? Now, I know a lot of you guys have already been plugging into this, but I know a lot of you guys have also just been plugging in and taking the alerts, right? Now, we're going to switch things up a little bit. We're going to we're gonna be taking notes in these sessions, right? Um, so once you guys have these sessions down, when you plug into them, you're going to be taking notes on every single session. And you have to do this like, you know, every single day, right? Um, now, again, if your goal is not to be crazy at trading then you know you can play around with it as you want but if you're like okay you know i want to get this trading side of things at least in the binary options market mastered um you would have to follow pretty much um all the steps that i kind of covered right uh, again this is something that's worked for me um so that's what i'm suggesting so along with the trades that we will be taking in these live sessions um we'll also be taking notes on what the trader's doing, what he's analyzing, and why he's calling out trades, right? And over time, what you will see is you will notice some patterns, some similarities, some trends um, that kind of get repetitive. The goal is for you for you to kind of catch on to those trends um, and uh, pretty much be able to pick them out on your own eventually, right? So um the end goal is from step one to see if you're going to mark up the charts similarly to the trader, right? Now, let's say um, the trader on these live session calls out a trade. 
are you able to mark up the chart? Um, I wouldn't say exactly, but in a similar way to what the traders thinking right now, I know everyone has a different way of, you know, or a different perspective on the markets and the charts. Um, but applying, you know, someone's strategy, you start to see that, Hey, like the parts of my thinking that are now applying to what he's saying. Right. So that's your goal. If you're able to start creating and marking up the chart, similarly to the trader, you're one step close from learning how to, you know, start trading on your own. Right now we're going to repeat step one for one month right now, every single day, Monday to Thursday. So you guys get Friday off and the weekend, obviously, because the markets don't run. The Forex market doesn't run on the weekends. Um, so every Monday to Thursday. Now, I did say attend every session, but let's say on Monday, you're like, OK, I have work at 10 a.m. or I'm not available at 9 p.m. Attend at least one of the two sessions on on those days that are um, that have multiple sessions. Uh, but make sure to be consistent with this, because, you know, if you do this once a week, it's it's not really going to work because you're going to forget things and. The whole goal is to kind of, you know, ingrain into your mind that, hey, um, this is what I'm seeing and get that repetitive cycle run in as well. So that's what I suggest for step one. Now, step two, um, along with the live sessions that Devin does on the um, iGenius side of things, we learn, we also run Nitro live sessions every Thursday. If you guys have not been plugging into those, um, me and Antonio, who's one of our other binary traders who run those sessions. So those happen at 4 p.m. Eastern every single Thursday. And you guys should add that to your calendar as well. So, so far, you need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Including step two, you should have seven items added to your calendar. Um, just so you know when all of this is happening, because I know there's a lot of things happening at the same time. So getting organized, just like any other thing, you know, whether that's studying, working, being organized in trading is extremely crucial. So if you guys are planning to follow this, make sure to follow every step and add it to your calendar as well. So similar to step one, plug into all of these sessions, take notes. Now we cover different strategies every single week. Some weeks we kind of just sit down and break down the markets, um, calling out some live trades as well. But we do cover a lot of strategies on this um, live session every Thursday. And your goal is during the session to follow the strategy, right? Follow the strategy, um, mimic the, the setup of the strategy on your own end. So you have everything set up when you're eventually able to practice it. And then once the session is over, whenever you have time, up until the next week. So pretty much have a week for this. Um, practice these strategies in your free time, right? Now, again, the more frequently you do it, the better. And obviously start with the demo account if it is a new strategy that you're trying out, something that you haven't tried out before. Um, and just a hint for you guys who are, you know, kind of not aware of the demo account situation. With Trade Nitro, you can now pretty much have a demo account without actually depositing any money, right? So you don't have to deposit money to get a demo account, um, which was kind of stupid in my opinion. But anyways, you don't have to know, we no longer have to do that. So you guys can pretty much go on a live chat if you don't have a live account. Or if you have a live account, you're like, okay, let me also create a demo account. Um, just message them. They're going to create a demo account for you. Literally take one minute. And um, that way you can start using that. And um, along with the live sessions, um, also take the signals that we call out Monday to Thursday and um, see if you can mark up the charts right now. A lot of the times what happens is when we call out these entries, they're not going to hit right away or they're not going to enter or hit our entry point right away. Right. So during that time, what you can do is actually mark up the charts right to see if you can get that entry point that we called out. Now, again, perspective in the markets is always there, but if you can kind of catch on to a few things that some of the experts have been telling and teaching you, um, you'll be starting to see some of these uh, entries on your own as well, right? So while the entries are waiting um, to be hit, 
mark up the charts and see if you can find the entry or at least an entry similar to what we called out. Now you're gonna repeat this for one month and this is gonna be simultaneously with step one, right? So step one again was the binary pro alpha channel, following every single session, um, taking notes, marking up the charts. Step two is similar just with the Nitro Live channel or the GC Nitro channel, plugging into the sessions, marking up the charts while you wait for the entries, and then just repeat both of this, both of the first two steps for one month, right? Now, step three, um, this will be optional for some of you guys. If you guys have missed out on some of the videos that we've covered uh, or some of the sessions that we, we've had on Thursdays, every single session has been pinned in the Nitro Telegram channel. So you can go through all of these and this is gonna be important because step four is where we kind of combine step, steps one to three, right? So if you haven't watched these sessions, um, a lot of these are relatively short, 30, 40 minutes, sometimes even less than 30 minutes. So if you do like one of these a week, sorry, one of these a day, you can cover it within a week, right? A lot of you guys have been attending these. So um, this step will be optional for um, those who have already attended these sessions. So that is step three. Now, step four is where we kind of, you know, go ham at trading, right? Now, what we've done so far, we've looked at some um, strategies. We've gone through some live sessions. We've practiced these, these um, individual strategies for um, a month, right? Now the goal is to kind of go back to back over every single strategy that you've learned so far, right? Um, so taking all the strategies from both the Binary Pro and the GC Nitro sessions, and you can practice all of these again on a demo account if you want to um you know if you don't want to be too risky because we're going to be going through a lot of trades right which which is why i suggest using a demo account for step four because we're going to be going back to back like multiple trades right now again this is the self-application part of things so um it's really important to follow steps one to three to even attempt step four um, and we're going to repeat this twice for X number of strategies. So what that means is, let's say we've learned seven strategies, right? From, uh, from the day you started till you're, you've approached step four, you're going to repeat those seven strategies twice. So that'll take you about two weeks. Let's say if we covered eight strategies, that will take you 16 days or just above two weeks, right? So the goal is to practice one strategy every single day and then repeat the same process again for the second week, right? That way you cover every single strategy twice. Now, while you're doing this, you're going to track every single trade that you've taken and the strategy that you've applied, right? So um, I'll actually show you a quick setup for that. So you can simply have like, you know, um, an Excel Excel sheet, have a date column. You can have a um, strategy column. You can have the um, exchange pair. Um, and then you can have, you know, um, trade amount. So that's the amount of dollars you put into the trade and then you can have your profit right and you're gonna basically repeat this for every single trade that you take right now in the date column obviously is going to be the date that you took the trade at strategy let's say we're applying simple support and resistance we're just going to call it um support and snr let's say you're applying um h and free strategy. And if some of these terms are unclear to you, um, you can watch the videos in the Nitro channels and that would make more sense. And then let's say for the third strategy, we took you know, the SMA, for example, right? An exchange pair, we did odd USD, we did zero JPY, we did, um, I don't know, um, USD, C and H, 
right? And the amount you went in, let's just say we're risking the same amount for every trade, $10, $10, $10, right? And then let's say the profit was six, seven, and let's say you lost this trade, right? Now, you're gonna repeat this for every single trade that you took, which means these strategies will be repeating, right? These strategies will be repeating because your goal is to spend one day for each strategy and then come back at it the next week, right? So once you have like, let's say, let's say we only have three strategies, right? And then we repeat that. And then obviously these pairs will be different, right? They won't be the same. And let's say the next time you won support and resistance again, you lost this one and then you lost this one again, right? So this is just like a little example. Obviously it's not gonna look exactly like this. Um, it'll change depending on what strategy you took and what exchange pair and the profit that you made, right? Now, remember, all of this is happening in a demo account right now, right? Step four is all on a demo account. All of this is happening on a demo account. And I'll tell you why. So, um, so coming back to the presentation, right? We're gonna track every single trade and the strategies that you applied. And you repeat this for two to three weeks, depending on the number of strategies, right? So as I said, if there's five strategies, it's gonna take you 10 days. If there's seven, it's gonna take you 14. We're gonna repeat every single strategy twice. And we're gonna dedicate one day for each strategy. So at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is we're trying to find probabilities, right? Because in trading, it's just a game of numbers, right? We wanna win more than we lose. So we wanna take the strategies where we're winning more than we're losing. Pretty straightforward, right? So step five is where you kind of pick your favorite strategy. So pick the strategy or strategies, right? It can be multiple strategies that had the highest return. Now, how are you gonna find that out? Um, what I like to do is, you know, let's say you, um, let's say you can have another column here, right? Let's say win slash loss. And obviously this was a win. So we're gonna make it green. This was a win. This was a loss. This was a win. This was a loss. This was a loss, right? So you're just gonna look at the greens and you're gonna see which strategy gave me the most greens, right? Now in this scenario, we can see with a relatively small sample size that our support and resistance gave us our most successful win rate, right? Now, this doesn't guarantee that it's gonna continue to give you the most um, you know, um, return, but let's say you took the SMA strategy, you lost twice, right? Um, I personally wouldn't go in again, right? Now, obviously your sample size is gonna be much bigger because we're gonna repeat this for two weeks. So we're gonna see couple strategies, maybe two or three strategies that stand out more. And obviously the bigger the sample size, the better, you know, the better for you to kind of pick up the strategy from, right? Um, basically uh, applying the probabilities. And um, once you pick the strategy with the most greens, that's when you kind of are a bit more confident in yourself in your strategy. And that's when you go live, right? That means when you, you go from your demo account to your live account, and then you take, and then you apply the strategies that have given you the highest return rate. And again, your tracking doesn't end there because our goal is to make this as big as possible. So the bigger our sample size, you know, and this can change over time, right? Let's say um, for the first month, the support and resistance was giving you better, but for the second month, the Ichimoku was a much better return rate. So keeping track of every single trade will help you understand that, hey, you know, in this month or overall, the strategy's um, return rate has changed over time. So now I'm gonna focus more on that strategy, right? It's just the, we're just trying to find a way to give us a higher chance of being profitable. That's our entire goal here. Now, when we're kind of applying that, right? We're, when we're kind of applying that um, entire process, what we're doing is we're 
kind of tweaking our trades and our um, uh, basically opportunities to enter the market, right? We're tweaking it every single time we take a trade. And for anyone who kind of knows a little bit about AI and machine learning, right? Uh, we use AI softwares. We got a couple of crypto softwares um, and um, Forex software coming in. That's on, on a really basic level. That's what these AI systems do. They kind of tweak the results over time to see what kind of gives you the best return rate, right? Now, obviously we don't have anything for binary options, but we can apply this five-step process to kind of, no, I wouldn't see mimic the AI, but become a little bit better at finding, you know, higher return rates and tweaking our strategies to give us a better profitability, right? So that's the entire goal here. Um, and having said that, um, I know that was a lot of information. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat and I can have them answered for you. Seems like no more questions. Yeah, Michelle, as Michelle said, find the strategy works in your favor, right? That's what we're trying to do. And everyone's gonna have a different result. Um, and you guys can compare results, right? Like if you guys are doing this all together as a team, I think that'll be pretty cool where you guys can see that, hey, for me, this strategy worked well. For you, this strategy worked well. So maybe let's sit down and see like, you know, why is this strategy working better for this person than this person? So we can even make it better, um, you know, individually for ourselves by seeing the results of others. Um, just need to implement the plan. Yeah, make sure like, if you guys want to follow this, you guys have to like stick through it every single step and be consistent with it. Otherwise it's not going to work, right? Because if you kind of miss some days, then the whole tracking, tweaking kind of, um, performance system fails. Uh, but yeah, if there's no other questions, I will like to pass it back to Christian, if he's still here. All right, cool. Let's give a big thank you for Abid in the chat. Thanks, bro, for, for hosting that. As always, dropping a ton of value. If you guys don't know, we have this call every single week, 7 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, so we'll see you on the next one. And yeah, guys, take care. Have a good one. And we have the opportunity to call at 9 p.m. Later. Peace.